All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is going to be an unboxing of the Team Orion Vortex R10 Pro Speed Control. Now, this is a speed control intended for a one-tenth scale vehicle and can handle either sensor or sensorless motors. As far as the constraint of the motors on 2S LiPo down to a 2.5 turn, 3S LiPo down to a 5.5 turn, and it can handle up to a 16,000 kV motor. As far as the constant and peak amps, 160 amp constant and 760 amp peak. So definitely a cool speed control for almost any motor out there. Um, as far as the box here, um, the box is very, very Apple-esque. First thing that I, I noticed when I, I got this thing in um, has definitely a new packaging look to it. Um, everything that I researched online had a totally different package, so I really dig the box and all of the graphics on here. Um, it looks like they're really featuring that uh, R10 right up close and personal right there. So um, all the graphics on here are very cool. Like I said, kind of Apple-esque, it has this kind of slide out right here going into the vault where the ESC is kept. Um, World Champion right there, they definitely have some good multiple national and world championships. And it has kind of all of the state-of-the-art uh, features and technology that's went into making this speed control. So pretty cool. On the flip side over here, it has all of the different ESCs that can be found in this box. My particular one is going to be this guy right here. And we've kind of already went over all of the constraints of it. And quick model number of this one, it is ORI65102. And just like we said, R10 Pro. Now, Team Orion is based in Europe. It's based in Switzerland, actually. So just a little uh, jump over the pond to Europe, and you will find Team Orion. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. Let's see what we get inside the box, and we'll go from there. So once again, that very Apple-esque type box has that cool Orion kind of uh, ghost logo right there. Really dig that, kind of on all sides. And let's go ahead and let this thing fall on down. Very, very cool box. I've got to admit, they put some definite um, work into this boxing right here has kind of a little foam protector right there to protect all the goods inside. That might be used for something else on a future vehicle. Hmm. And the first thing we come across, the instruction manual. I really dig that people are still using instruction manuals. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of, you know, nice that you can find these online, but it's also nice to have this thing, you know, I, I throw these all in my pit bag. I have one huge envelope for all of my owner's manuals. It's always nice to just have it right there at your fingertips. So looks like they have some nice graphics inside and kind of showing you like an easy start to get this thing up and running. Pretty cool. And next thing, a thank you note. Wow. They're thanking me for buying their product. That is definitely appreciated. It looks like there's also a, a download feature here for probably firmware and ESC software. Pretty cool. All right, next thing. All right, let, let's get right into here. So there's the ESC, and I'm, I'm definitely surprised at how small this thing is. I have not seen one of these things uh, in person before, and I, I definitely dig how small of a footprint this ESC is going to have. So let's go ahead and do some boring stuff first, and we'll go and get to that ESC. Inside this little baggie, it looks like there's some heat shrink tubing for all your wires, different colors, which is very, very nice. It looks like there's a, a Orion fan inside there. It's just, it's very small, one inch by one inch probably. And then looks like some, uh, some servo tape. Hey, that's nice of the company to give you that. And also it looks like there's a little square there so you can mount your switch as well. They've thought about things here. And the last thing, they give you a couple of screws that looks like just to mount the fan to your ESC. Pretty cool. 
looks like they're including almost everything. And right here, they're giving you a couple of zip ties. Always nice to get your wires all kind of tucked out of place. Cool. Next thing here, not sure what this is for. It looks like it's a sensor plug, and it goes up to a receiver. Or could this be a USB? Not sure. Not sure what this thing is yet. I'll figure that one out later. And digging on down here, it looks like the main thing is going to be the ESC now. Let's go ahead and pop this thing out of here. There we go. Got it all out. So it looks like the ESC, God, it's, it's super small. I'm going to try and keep the glare off of everything. Has the cool Orion graphics. This is all metal up here. This is all one piece of aluminum, it looks like. Very bottom is going to be that carbon fiber look that Team Orion is definitely famous for. Got all the points of where everything is soldered on. It looks like there's a sensor plug back here. But I also noticed a sensor plug up here. Pretty cool. So if you have different routing of your uh, sensor plug or where your motor's located at, you can pick one or choose one. Looks like the plug right here for the fan. Got a couple screw holes right there for your, your fan as well. And let's take a look at the switch and the lead. Looks like the receiver lead's about six inches, so not too bad. Not too much to fold up. And I really dig this thing. This is the switch. And it's 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 large. It's it's definitely uh you know substantial. It has the switch right there. And this is also the mode button for the ESC, so it's not housed on the ESC where all the heat is. So very smart, very smart, uh, Team Orion. Very cool speed control. Has all the labeling right there for what the different uh, wires are for. And as far as the motor and battery leads, it looks like about eight to nine inches of leads and all pretend, which is cool. You got your top one right there uh, that is red marked for your battery, so you won't plug in your battery into the wrong terminal. Always nice. And the last thing here is going to be the little capacitors, which is actually on a wire so that you can mount this away from all the heat. So typically in ESCs, this is going to go out first, and this is kind of mounted away from all the heat, which is very nice. So you can kind of mount this anywhere. Kind of keeps down on the size of it as well. So pretty cool. As far as a size comparison, I, I happen to have an RX-8 just handy here in the shop. I wanted to show you a size difference. And, you know, this is kind of unfair. So I'm comparing a 10 scale to an 8 scale. But let's have a look here and see what the differences are in size. So right there, they're about flat. Definitely see the RX-8 is standing tall there and definitely a lot wider. Let's go ahead and flip this around this way. You can really see how small that Orion is. And then as far as the top, kind of getting lots of glare off that aluminum heat sink. So pretty cool. I can't wait to get this thing mounted in. I, I do plan to mount this in my B44.2. I have other plans for the existing ESC and motor that's in there. So, can't wait to do it. Well, that's it for now, guys. If you have any questions about this ESC or Team Orion, please post it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.